Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime he might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim of homicidal mania. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am off to church. I'm just like I'm going to the office really. But it is cold. It's raining. It's cloudy. It's just gloomy in Johannesburg. Um, I'm officially welcoming winter, if I'm being quite honest with you. We are officially welcoming it. It's not we went straight from summer into winter. No autumn, no med medium ground, nothing but we praise god nonetheless um and yeah let me get to church looking a bit washed out i don't know why um but i'm assuming it's also the lighting but um let's go to church shall we i want to open my sunroof because this car is childish um it's been raining obviously and i'm expecting water drops to be falling Yeah, anyways, let's get to work, guys. I'm distracted. Waiting for a sign. it is raining in fact it is pouring but nonetheless we soldier on yesterday you guys saw me shopping for a project that i have I spoke about it briefly in the other video i'd say to you guys are absolutely gonna love the content that's coming up so i do have a home decor project i've got two actually one is um creating mood boards and a rendering for my friend gear we went on lunch 
or rather we went for lunch uh, not so long ago at Irene Barn. If you guys have watched, I think about three, two or three videos before this one, um, she was on it. So I'm creating a rendering for her and her husband. They are renovating their guest house. I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. It's really, 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 really pretty. And if you are, you know, designing a space, please do hit me up. If you want some ideas on how to go about doing that, um, yeah, a certified designer right here. Anyways, I'm also doing a bedroom makeover for another friend of mine, Mandisa. She's also been on the channel, I want to say last year, flight attendant. If you have been watching me from then, you would probably have an idea. Um, she also came to my house last year as well. So. Those are the two projects that are happening um, and I am working on that and yesterday I went shopping and then uh, I'm still going to continue doing some shopping but most of the shopping is going to be online throughout the week. Some are going to be delivered, some I can pick up in store because the places that I want to pick up those pieces from are closer to the space that I am making over and I'm going to show you guys the full start to finish. On how it turned out though in this video i am going to share mood boards for both projects and then i'm going to show the 3d design as well for kia so that's what's up um it's monday though i need to hit to work it is five to eight i'm good on time though it's raining so i'm assuming i'm gonna be hit with traffic but it is what it is um i'm exhausted to say the least i slept around like two o'clock if not almost three o'clock I was already asleep until I received a call that woke me up and I was just cranky since. Even now, I'm not feeling my best of self. I'm just in a, a mood. I'm just in a zone of silence. And I know that I'm silent purely because I'm lacking sleep. And I'm going to struggle today in the office. Um, my, obviously, colleagues always say, if you want your day to be made, go to Nalili's office because I'm always cracking jokes. I'm always just saying things. That's just my personality, especially at work. Um, but today, I think I'm just going to have a closed door policy. Uh, I just want to close my door and I just want to submerge myself in just my work. So I think I'm going to bring my earphones with me. Um, so that I can do minutes of the board meeting for last week and also the exco, which is the executive committee. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to do that because really, 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 I do not have the capacity to entertain people. And I don't know why, like, yeah, not even I don't know why, I know why I'm exhausted. But I'm praying to God that I regain my energy to interact today because... Our chairman is in the office and he's obviously the person that I report to directly, not the managing director. Um, and he is one heck of a character. He's like a dad and he's always wanting to talk. So there's that. Anyways, let us get to work, yeah? <laughs> the way, I forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this poetry um, jersey. It is so warm so cool and then i'm wearing my levi's plain jeans and i think i'm gonna wear heels i don't have boots i do not have boots and i need boots because i'm gonna regret it but i took the boots that i have home and now i do not have boots so there's that anyways let's get going hello 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 good afternoon it is almost one o'clock honestly speaking um let me check the time it's actually 25 past 12 it's wednesday i'm supposed to be in the office today but i'm not i'm not feeling well i've got the world's worst migraine i can barely even hear myself i'm in so much pain uh, my eyes they're throbbing but i need to go quickly to the office and get my charger for the laptop uh yeah because i still need to work so i don't know how that's gonna pan out maybe maybe when i come back i'm still gonna continue sleeping i was literally sitting in the dark since morning i closed off all my doors uh, my curtains thank goodness they are black out 
um so i've just been sitting and also i was under the blanket pretty much the entire time um and i've just been sitting in the dark just to reduce stimulation into my eyeballs you know with the light and everything because one thing about my apartment it is bright bright so that is what's happening really 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 i was speaking to uh, my chairman in the morning because he called just to confirm a few things for a trip to cape town for work um that's gonna take place but i told him that i had a migraine and he's like okay let me just hang up on you right now we will talk about this when you're feeling better but just go see an optometrist because to be quite honest with you you were very much under pressure in the office so i appreciated that give me a moment to sleep a little bit i got a solid two hour sleep um as for painkillers i took painkillers yesterday so in the office the headache started in the office yesterday and i was complaining to it to my colleague and then it just grew from there it turned into something much more i took painkillers last night i didn't work i took painkillers this morning they're still not working so that is what's happening right now i'm just gonna quickly hop onto the office and get grab my charger i don't think i'm gonna like, see an optometrist today but if it persists i am going to go um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to take another day off tomorrow but i am going to go see a doctor um and obviously if i'm really really not feeling up to it obviously i do need to see a doctor asap so that's what's happening it's a lot i'm not gonna lie it's a lot there's just so much pressure so much riding on our work at this point in time especially with the elections coming up so i am very much under pressure but we soldier on nonetheless god is still god god is still good and i'm gonna keep at it i'm gonna keep at it and hope for the best really for now though let's go pick up my charger and i haven't even eaten and i'm so hungry hey guys <laughs> You know, one day I'll tell this story. Actually, it's going to make me tear up and I don't want to cry. My eyes are already not going to handle it very well. But, you know, sometimes we go through so much. Hey, we go through so much things that we don't talk about. So pray, pray, pray for your circle. I'm going to tell you that. Pray for the people you are close to. Pray for the people that you love. Pray for the people that bring life and joy into your life. Pray for them because... In as much as they are pouring into your life, they go through things that they don't talk about, especially to you who's going through something. So that's my little piece of advice for the day. Whilst I reminisce on everything that's happening with me being feel or rather with me feeling off and just, you know. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, my glasses. I left my glasses. Thank goodness I started vlogging. But happy Friday. I'm finally feeling so much better by the grace of God. Oh, guys, respect headaches, respect migraines, respect people who go through and check up on people that you know that go through migraines. It's been a tough two days, I'm not going to lie. But by the grace of God, I am healed by his stripes. I am healed and the healing is a continuous process for this migraine and any other disease that threatens to come and attack my body. I am healed by the grace of God. Feeling so much better. It's Friday. I'm heading to the office. I just need to go back upstairs and grab my glasses because I'm just realizing now that I'm not wearing them <laughs> and I don't want to be struggling like, like I did last week because I also forgot them last week. I'm learning that I need to keep an extra pair of glasses, preferably in the car, because clearly this thing is going to be a habit and my skin, period. Anyways, <laughs> let me get to the office. I'm already late. It's 20 past eight. Um, praying I can make it in 20 minutes. Uh, if it's anything like yesterday, traffic shouldn't be too, too bad. But yeah, actually, let me keep my, park, my car parked here and go up and get my glasses got the glasses <sighs> yes. good morning good morning good morning it is saturday i just finished getting dressed i'm heading to mandisa's place now 
for putting together everything by god's grace everything was delivered yesterday so today is a d-day <laughs> um i'm so excited really i'm really really excited my girl has done very good for herself and i am honored to even be helping her put together her space so i'm gonna go ahead oh i almost dropped my perfume Anyways, I just used the Lancome Tinted All perfume, which is struggling. Guys, these are the only two perfumes that I have left. Just a tangent, really. These are the only two perfumes I have left. I don't know what's happening in my, with my life, but I need to get things together. I need to get my collection together again. But um, back to the point, um, I'm also head there now. I'm just going to quickly start at the mall pick up some curtain hooks which i didn't find yesterday i'm hoping that i can remember to look for them at mr price and then um i think i'm gonna head on to pep home uh and look for i just i know i have it on the list i just needed to look for something before i quickly head that side and when i'm that side as well i am going to go to deco for and mr price home um, and then we are heading to Mandisa's. It is 9.30. I had told her I'm going to be there around 10 or 11. And it looks like it's going to be 11 o'clock, which ain't too bad at all, if I'm being quite honest. Um, but I do need to get on the road right now. And this hair child, I need to do something about my hair. I need to do something about my hair. I'm not going to lie. It's looking a little struggly, but one thing's for sure, I'm going to be cutting it again. I am done cutting my hair officially, officially, officially. I know I said this like three, four months ago, and then I still continued, but now I am really, really, really done. So I need to get some hair products and see what I do with it, because when I pull it, it's quite... It's quite long, it's springy, it's really nice, it's healthy. Anyways, let's get going. Okay, 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 why am I so orange? Okay, I'm gonna color correct this. But I am at Mandisa's place. This is her cute little apartment, it's a one bedroom. And as you guys can see, all of this is everything I had in my car. Guys, look at all of this stuff. All of these bags and there's more things the side. Um, yeah, uh, we came back, we offloaded things, and then she left. And then what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to do a haul with you guys. And I'm going to show you everything I got for this bedroom apartment. So that when I upload part two of this makeover, you guys will know where I got everything. Yeah, I'm so excited for you guys to see. And let's get right into it without talking too much. Yeah. Okay, first things first that I got is from Volps. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, let me start with the Volps things first. Let me just take out what doesn't belong to them. So I got, uh, I got, I got um, a sheet set. Um, I got a fitted sheet in the color, in the color nude, which is a fitted sheet for a double bed. And then I also got um, a twin pack of kid pillowcases in the same nude color. And then I got a flat sheet as well in the same color for a double slash queen size bed. I think obviously not even I think it's going to be the perfect fit for the bed. And then also from Bob's, I got two of these cushions. I got these on sale for... 280 rands each originally it was 400 rands and they are nice and fluffy and steady they're not so big not as big as i'd wanted to but i think it was a steal especially from vault because you know that the material is quality and over time it's not going to give out on you so i got two of those and then i also brought her a book from my collection in the house. You guys know this from design, from Deco and Design. I'm gonna use it on the coffee table, on the side table. I'm just trying to take everything out and make sure that it's not touching the floor because I don't want things to get dirty. And then from Superbalist, 
I got an inner. Um, I already took it out of the pack because obviously I knew that I was going to use it. And then I got this nude throw similar, exactly the same as mine in the house from Mr. Prize. I got this pillow insert from Mr. Prize as well. This was 130 rands. Everything, guys, everything, everything, everything I got for this makeover was... Um, with I was working with a budget of I want to say 17,000 rands because she first sent me 15,000 and then she sent me 2,000 rands a couple of days ago so everything that I got is 17,000 rands including the base the mattress the bed frame which I'm going to show you guys just now um from Mr. Price um from Mr. Price I got two sets of cushions i got the striped ones um i got two of these obviously uh, and they were on sale i'm just trying to find the price for you guys they were on sale for 80 rands each and they're just these white striped cushions black and white and then i also got this throw which is black um, 420 rands for sa on sale. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or the nude one. Either or, I'm going to have the option to return. Um, obviously, I still have the option to return this one because I unwrapped this one because I knew that I loved it. But I wanted to try this one first. If I don't like this one, then I can return it. If I love that one, obviously, I'm going to use it. There's no way that I will not love the nude one. The nude one was standard, hence I went ahead and unwrapped it. It was standard, but whether or not I'm going to switch the nude and use this one is yet to be also determined. from Mr. Prize, I got this vase. It's just this cute long vase that I plan on eating pampas grass for. I just didn't have the opportunity to go down to China more, but I am going to get pampas grass for this vase. It is huge. It's like a... 35 40 centimeter vase and it is nice and hollow and i like that the opening is not too spread out because the pampas grass is going to be gathered in and i want to give the fluffy pampas grass i think it's going to look very 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 nice and i have a superbalist haul now so it came in three boxes and obviously there was no way that i was going to be able to fit all of those boxes and everything else that i had in the car so I decided to unwrap everything and put it in a black man in the office so that it can fit in my hand. So what I got from Superbalist is this um, duvet set. It is in the color white, obviously. Um, and this was the Crinkle Microfiber Duvet Cover Set. I believe this cost me around four, if not 500 trends and some change. Um, from Superbalist, of course, I've already said. And then I got this mattress cover uh, or mattress protector, which is the quilted one. I really love this one. I really want this one is all for my house. Um, not the one that I got from Woolies. But this is also from Superbalist. It is the sixth floor brand. And I got it in the double, in a white, of course. You guys already know. And then I got two more pillow inserts from Superbalist and this is the first one and this is the second one and that is all that I is it all yeah that is all that I got from Superbalist okay so from Sheet Street I got this very 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 cute lamp it looks like this I think it's absolutely stunning I'm not sure if I'm going to DIY this. I want to put the room together. I think that I'm going to DIY this and make it black. It will just send it off. Oh, I also brought a nude paint like this. So maybe I can make it all flush and nude. But we'll see. We'll see. But I got this from Sheet Street. It was on sale. It was originally 400 trends. You guys can see it was 3.99, And then I got it for 300 trends. So it was 100 trends off. So this is what it looks like it is stunning it's quite substantial also it's very light though so i mean when i say substantial i mean in terms of size it's quite substantial that is all i got from sheet street i'm trying to tidy everything up as i go guys hence i keep 
bending down and whatnot and whatnot. But you guys understand, you guys understand, I know you understand. Okay, and then I also went to Continental Linen and I got curtains because this girly does not have curtains. Um, and she measured the window for me. I forgot to do that when I first came to scout the place. But she measured the window for me and it was 214 centimeters, which is 2.14 meters. So I've got the 2.18 drop, which I think will be sufficient. It'll maybe, maybe I'm hoping it creates a little gather at the bottom, just a tiny bit. It's going to kiss the floor. <laughs> and that is the hope for it to kiss the floor. So I got this in the color. This is like a, a, a white bluish color mm, what's that on my list but this is like a white bluish color it's and like it, it reflects gray it, refre it reflects blue it reflects white depending on how you're looking at it and i think it was just absolutely stunning and i got this in a taped um in a taped cut if that's even a thing um but yeah they come in single drops and this was like Originally, it is 630 rands, but I got it for 315 rands, so it was 50% um, off. So I got two of these because obviously, curtains, you want curtains together as much as possible. And her window is two meters wide, and these drops are like almost three meters, or rather the, the length of these curtains, the, the, yeah, is it the length? The length of these curtains, is it the length? Or is it the width? Actually, it's the width. The width of this curtains is 2.7. So yeah, I think it's going to create the perfect amount of gather. So yeah. And then I also went to Cory Craft. And I literally went to Cory Craft for decor pieces. But they didn't have anything on a small scale. Everything of the as was huge. And it was just going to look disproportionate with the space. So... I got this candle guys isn't this perfect it's this irregular shaped candle with the three wickers and I think it's just absolutely perfect and this was 230 rand and it smells nice and subtle if you've been to any Cory Craft stores you'd know they've got that light powdery subtle scent um, despite the, the signature sandalwood scent that they usually run but when you come closer to um the object and then you'll smell this light vanillary powdery scent and this is it i think it's just absolutely perfect even the colors the two-toned colors i think it is chef's kisses and then i got a room spray as well and this is the signature scent as well for curry craft it is the sandalwood signature scent and it looks just like so and i am obsessed with this this I bought for myself, yeah, I bought for myself, but I used it this morning, I thought I should bring it here and spray it around the room because it's just going to create that and then when she's ready, when she's doing groceries, she can just pop by Craft and buy it, it's literally just 200 trends, so there's that. I also went to Mr. Price again today and I got this trinket tray for her necklaces she's a jewelry person especially necklaces and rings um i believe she also has like a watch or two so she can just put these every time she's going into bed or she's coming into the room i got this from mr price for 30 rands 29.99 and i think it's just absolutely stunning i wish i got in a nude color but they just had this like egg color um i'm gonna see if it fits the theme of the room i hope it does and yeah she can use this as a trick and tr a trick trinket tray oh it's long i got two of just the standard um ellie's light bulbs in the shade cool white oh i should have gotten a warm white actually now that i think about it we'll see how it looks if we need to exchange this we will do that but i got these two bulbs there's more <laughs> Okay, I also went to Deco Fern and I got a lamp. Okay, so this is the shade of the floor lamp. It's just a simple... Oh, okay, now that I see that this has gold, it might just warm up the room, we'll see. But it's just a standard gold lamp. Um, 
maybe i'll go ahead and put in a screenshot of what it looks like over here but you guys are going to see it obviously and then there's also artwork i brought artwork from my home um if you've watched my previous videos you would have noticed these artworks um i brought them back here because i still like my canvas and i feel like i was constantly choosing between uh, or i was alternating between using the frames and using the canvas and i just wanted to use my frame and then when i'm ready to rebuy other frames i will get wooden frames i'm done with black in my house guys i'm done with black i'm done with accommodating people i'm going back to my white and beige so i'm trying to get rid of all black pieces um but obviously one piece at a time so i brought both of these frames here and then there's also a rug which is in the plastic bag. I got the uh, rug from China Mall. I got it from a friend, well, a recently found friend. His name is Limbani. I'll go ahead and leave his number right here. And also I'll leave it in the description box. Um, if you watched my previous vlog where I was showing the rugs, I went shopping and I was showing the rugs. He's that guy. I took his number and I said, I'm still gonna order from you. So if you like that rug, you can go ahead and screenshot and send this and tell him that you got his number from me and he will give you a nice discount and yeah he's just an amazing amazing person it's just one of those people you come across and they just know how to talk to you you know as a human it's not just you know passerby so i took his number because of that and yeah i'm gonna keep supporting the guy i still have more rugs to buy from him and i told him that and i would appreciate for you guys to hit him up as well he's at the china mall in um amal is it amalgam johannesburg but um close just behind macro what you call macro crown mines yeah that area there so do hit him up if you like the rug and also if you want more options as well by all means let me know i'll send you the videos of the rugs that i took the video that i took rather of the rugs and uh you can go ahead and message him and place an order for something that you might like or even if you want to see them in person just arrange with him and tell him you're coming see them in person and then you can buy and then another thing that i got is a pedestal from superbalist literally guys i cannot show you right now but i'll put a screenshot of the of the of the pedestal right here um it's heavy it is so 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 heavy and i'm still gonna obviously assemble it you guys are gonna see it in the review and then i bought a base from mattress warehouse guys there's an employee at mattress warehouse by the name of patricia oh no 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 patricia jackie manamela amazing 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 girly i cannot rave about her enough customer service on thursday she's the one yeah she's the one so yeah and she's also i think in the base in the boxburg area in the boxburg branch amazing girly um she helped me with the upgrade because we had ordered another brace and it wasn't in stock and she's like it's either one you wait for it or i can just you know pull something from you and upgrade pull something for you and upgrade you to the next best thing and then you can have it delivered the following day and indeed it was delivered yesterday amazing girly and then we also have a milu um mattress i'll put a screenshot right here uh it's exactly the same mm, no it's not exactly the same but it's similar to the mattress that i have it is a mattress in a box you guys are going to see it very excited about that and that is all that i got for this makeover it's quite a lot actually i've been talking for 20 minutes so that's how you know it's a lot it's a lot and i'm very glad that i got so many things and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close this video here if you want to see how the bedroom comes together by all means hit the sub sub subscribe button like comment share and click the notification button so that you are notified when i upload next week for the video <laughs> and yeah that is it from me you guys until next week god willing god bless you all and i will see you guys in the next vlog <laughs> you gotta have enough humility to stay in the making even when it looks like you're failing to stay in the making even when it means you gotta apologize you gotta stay in the making even when it feels like i don't know what i'm doing i gotta stay in the making because he called me to this and i believe that he's called